Good morning, everybody. It is uh, Tuesday, January 12th. Um, hope you had a good night's sleep. Getting your uh, cup of coffee, um, whatever it is that uh, you like to enjoy in the morning. Um, hope that you are you are well. Morning, Debbie and Kenna, Linda. Glad to have everybody joining us. Um, grab your Bible um, um, or your digital device. We're on day two of our prayer guide. If you don't have this guide, email care at hopeinocala.com. Email care at hopeinocala.com. Um, Morn, Aaron, Melissa, Emily, Janice, uh, Ashley. Um, good to see everybody. Um, um, and, and you can follow along with us, okay? You can follow right along. Uh, if I can pray for, if we as a church can pray for you in any way, uh, you could uh, uh, send that email to care at Hope in Ocala, uh, or you can email me and, uh, hey, Dana, um, Lori, good to see you. I hope that you're well. Keep praying for our good friend, Christina. Um, hey, Carmen, uh, just telling everybody about uh, uh, if you don't have a copy of uh, this prayer guide, email care at hope dot, um, dot com. Okay, um, and then we're also reading through uh, Romans chapter twelve each day. Right, we're just encouraging each other uh, in a world that seems to um, be getting darker, uh, more discouraged, more divided, uh, more depressed. We are choosing to wake up in these 21 days and allow God's word and leaning into prayer to encourage us. Uh, the great promises that we have from Jesus. Uh, hey, Carmen, Donna. Um, hey, Jean. Good to see you. Praying for you, Jean. Um, the great promises we have from, from Jesus. He tells us that in this world, there's cray cray. Uh, in this world, we will have trouble. It won't always go how we had hoped it would go. But he said, be of good cheer. He said, take heart, be confident in this, uh, that he, Christ, our Savior. Hey, Stacy um, and uh, Tammy. Uh, hey, Ken. Um, good to see everybody. Uh, that He promised us that we would uh, be able to endure, go through it, and not just kind of, um, um, you, know, you know, survive, right? He said we can thrive through it. So that's why this time is so important. Uh, hey, Melissa. Hey, Tracy. Hans and Janet. Good to see you. All right. So uh, let's let's lean into the scripture. Again, I'm modeling for you uh, a great way to pray because sometimes we don't know how to pray. One of the best ways to pray is just pray through the scriptures. You read a little bit of scripture and just let the Holy Spirit guide you in those prayers. Okay. Hey, Rhonda and Leanne. Um, good to have you. Uh, catching that reading for your your stepdad uh, passed away. Oh, Leanne, sorry. Um, um, we'll be praying praying for him, and someone on our team will be writing that down so we can uh, add that to our prayer time and be praying praying for you as all of the different uh, people are joining us online. Okay, hey, Charlene, hey, Ken. Um, so I'm going to start this morning um, in Psalms uh, chapter five and uh, verse eleven. And uh, our prayer emphasis is for Chief Alexander, who is the chief of our fire department here in uh, Marion County, and then also our, our newly elected uh, Chief Balkan. And I uh, remember this past fall, uh, Chief Greg Graham had passed away in a, um, uh, an airplane accident. So we're going to keep praying for Amy, uh, Amy Graham, and you can check with our uh, our local events. There's even a um, a, a walkathon uh, to uh, raise awareness and support uh, for the police department uh, in memory of Chief Graham. That's coming up in in January. But we're praying for Mike, Mike Chief Balkin, uh, who um, followed followed him. So, he, with that idea, and then wherever you live, praying for your your police department, uh, your chief of police. Uh, your uh, chief of fire department. We need to pray for these guys. We saw, of course, uh, tensions in America last week. Um, we know tensions, uh, people are divided, and so we need to continue to pray uh, over them. So here's here's what the Bible says. Psalms 
uh, chapter five and verse 11. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. This is Psalms chapter five, verse 11. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Okay? So let all take refuge in you be glad. So when you feel the opposition coming against you, where do you take refuge? Who do you take refuge? Refuge is protection. So we're going to pray over our chief of police, pray over our chief of fire, that God protects them. But you can personalize this for you, right? And I'll personalize this in our prayer time. So that's chapter five and verse 11. And then remember, you're reading through, I'm reading through Romans chapter 12 every single day during these 21 days. Together, we'll read one verse at a time. So yesterday I read verse one, today I'll read verse two, right? But you're gonna go back and read the whole chapter today. Um, and so verse number two, Romans chapter uh, 12 and verse two, um, it says, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. People are always asking me, how can I know what God's will is? Uh, hey, Tara, uh, good to see you this morning, Shelly. Uh, how can you know what God's will is? Like, is it God's will for me to, you know, you know, date this guy or get married to this person, uh, to sell this house, move into that house, take this job compared to that job, go to this university compared to that university? Well, what's God's will to vote for this person or for that person, right? Well, God's word um, really teaches us there's something to do before. Did you, did you catch it? Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. In other words, for a season, uh, the, the people living in Rome were conforming to. They were uh, looking more like Romans than Christians. So let that just be a source of conviction in our hearts today. Um, has the pattern of my life looked more like an American or more like a Christian? Oh, listen, I'm glad to be a citizen of the United States, but I'm a Christ follower. So my attitudes and my actions, uh, the way that I treat other people, um, the, the pattern of my life, does it more resemble being an American or being a Christian? That's the first thing he says. So before we can claim the promise of knowing what God's will is, we've got to do an inspection. Does my life conform more to the pattern of Christ or more the pattern of this world, or specifically as an American. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you gotta change how you think. We've allowed following Jesus to become this cocktail of, um, well, of course, one part Jesus, but then kind of uh, one part Republican Party, uh, one part um, Democratic Party, one part, uh, Chevrolet, apple pie, Americana, all these. No, no, no. We've got to renew our mind, how we think. Uh, Christ called us to be all in. He said, listen, you're neither hot nor cold. You're lukewarm, so I'm going to have nothing to do with you. Following Jesus, you're either all in or you're all out. There's no such thing as I'm 50%. I'm 80, you know, I'm kind of 80%. That's pretty good. It's kind of, that, that might work good when we were in school, but that's not what it means to follow Christ. That's what he's saying. He's saying to these Romans, listen, you got to renew your mind. And so today, how do you need to renew your mind? How do you need to look and say, am I, am I living more like in the pattern of an American or more like the pattern of a Christ follower? How do I need to change my thinking today? You change your thinking, you change your life. And one of the best ways to change your thinking is to evaluate what are you listening to, what are you allowing to come in, and what are you watching? The eyes and the ears are the gate to the mind. They shape the mind. And so before you even begin trying to take control of whatever that thought is, that attitude is, start adjusting what you're listening, who you're listening to, what you're watching. That's a great first first step. Hey, hey, Lisa and Rebecca. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna lean in and pray through both of these scriptures today, uh, Psalms, 
chapter 5 and verse 11 and uh, Romans chapter 12 and verse number 2. And we're praying specifically today uh, for God's hand of protection over law enforcement. And here in Ocala, Florida, uh, that would be Chief Alexander and Chief uh, Balkan. Okay, uh, let's let's pray together. Uh, hey God, it's uh, Mark and a bunch of friends uh, gathering, and uh, we just lean into this prayer, and um, our our hands are up because we trust you. Uh, you are in control. We don't have to be. We, we can. Um, give all of our hurts and habits and hangups to you because we walk in freedom because of your son, Jesus. So our hands are up in, in worship, in declaring we trust you, God, that you're in control. Our hands are open because we're free in Christ. We don't have to try to fix our lives. Jesus, you came and gave us hope and our hands are open forward. We're thinking of other people. And this morning, particularly those in law enforcement, and first responders. I ask that you would watch over here in Ocala, Florida, uh, Chief Balkan as he leads our Ocala Police Department. I also, God, want to ask uh, that you would protect Chief Alexander as he leads our fire and rescue in EMT, that both of these men, you'd give them wisdom, that you'd help us as citizens uh, to be grateful and thankful uh, for their work and their efforts. Uh, for our local city officials, uh, our city council and our county commissioners to reward them with uh, right compensation and honor and respect. Uh, your word, God, in Psalms chapter 5 and verse 11 says, let all take refuge in you. Be glad. So God, we lean in and there's danger. We can feel it around us. There's things that cause us uh, concern and pause. And yes, God, even fear and doubt and despair. So we come to you this morning and we lean in and we let you, we want you to be our source of refuge. And your word says that we will be glad. So God, right now as all are praying and right where you are, you pray, where do you need to take refuge in God? God, we sing for joy because you spread your protection over us. Right now, would you just pray and, and, and just praise God, sing for joy because your protection comes not from a political party, but your protection comes from God. We sing for joy. Spread your protection over us. Spread your protection over Chief Alexander, over Chief Balkan, that those who love you may rejoice in you. And oh God, how we do rejoice in you. And then God, this morning, also in Romans uh, chapter chapter 12, uh, you tell us not to be conformed to the pattern of this world. And it's so easy, God, because it's what we see. We see this world system uh, in our homes, um, at school, um, at the workplace, on television. We see how people advance and how people are successful. And the way People become powerful and wealthy. And it's easy to lean in and to think that this world will bring us the hope. This world will bring us the satisfaction. This world will bring us the pleasure that we want. But you say not to be conformed to this world system, to the pattern of this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. God, help us to see today that following you is always best. Obeying you will bring more satisfaction in our life than anything else. God, help us to have our minds transformed. Help us not to see the way that things are as Americans, uh, as citizens on this earth, but open up our minds and our hearts to see that we're following you and that you are in control and that you're good and that you've got a plan even when we can't see or understand that plan. God, we're always looking to see what your will is. To, to see that will that's good and pleasing and perfect. And so God, before we see it, we know we've got to trust you. We've got to no longer be conformed to this world, but to be transformed. So give each person today the courage to do an inspection of their hearts. And that's really what's important. Do an inspection of your heart. Where and how have you conformed? And then just make a decision today that you're going to be transformed. You're going to let God guide and direct you. 
And so, God, I thank you. I pray over everybody. Um, even that prayer request that was dropped earlier uh, for a father-in-law who passed away, for those who are struggling with COVID, uh, for those who are, are are just really worried about what's going on in the world right now, uh, the things that are happening in the political world in Washington, D.C., and politicians. We just pray over all of these and know and trust and believe that you are good. And we don't have to stress. We don't have to worry. We can really trust you. You are our protection. I sure do love you. I pray everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's good, right? God's word is really good. And it's not, have you noticed just in two days, it's not complicated. Praying through God's word just a little bit. Romans chapter 12, verse two. A simple little prayer guide. How do you make a difference? I call it the PPP. You have a plan, you have a place, and you have a person. And so that's what we're doing in these 21 days. We've got a plan, right? We have a 21-day 21 21-day 21 prayer guide. If you don't have a copy of this, email care at hopeinocala.com. If we can pray with you and for you in any ways, I want you to send those emails to care at hopeinocala.com or just drop it in the comments right here and our team will record it, give it to me, and we'll pray together. And then we're reading. You're going to read through Romans chapter 12. Just watch how your, your mind is going to be transformed because we are spending this time in prayer in these 21 days and letting God's word guide us. The chaos around us is not going to change, but the peace that passes all understanding is going to be in us. Make it a great Tuesday. Uh, for those of us who were cheering for the Ohio State Buckeyes last night, they ran into a brick wall called the University of Alabama. What a great football team Alabama is, but it sure was fun. Okay. Hey, have a great day and I love everybody. Peace to you.